Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 251. Interatrial Septum Development What is happening on picture 1 of the interatrial septum development? In picture 1 here, you see foramen primum narrows as septum primum grows towards the endocardial cushion. What is happening on picture 2 of the interatrial septum development? In the second image here, you see perforations in the septum primum, and this will form the foramen secundum. At this depth, foramen primum disappears. What is happening on image 3 of the interatrial septum development? On image 3, you could see that the foramen secundum will continue to maintain the right to left shunt as septum secundum begins to grow. What is happening on image 4 of the interatrial septum development? In image 4, you see that septum secundum contains a permanent opening called the foramen ovale. What is happening on image 5 of the interatrial septum development? On image 5, you could see that foramen secundum enlarges and the upper part of septum primum degenerates. What are the remaining steps of the interatrial septum development? The remaining steps are that the portion of the septum primum that remains will form the valve of foramen ovale, septum secundum and septum primum will fuse together to form the atrial septum, and foramen ovale usually will close after birth, and this happens due to increase in left atrial pressure. So based on what we just talked about, what is the reason why there would be a patent foramen ovale? The reason for a patent foramen ovale is because there would be a failure of septum primum and septum secundum to fuse after birth. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.